<laughs> hi, hi. This is Sarah from Serenity. Spirit has moved me to do a series of what I need to acknowledge to grow videos based on the elements. And this is the last one of the four elements. We have done water, we have done air, we have done earth, and now we're going to do fire. So yes, I saved the best for last. <laughs> Fire element signs are, of course, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this is a timeless reading, meaning it pops up in your life in the right time. It's not fixed around a certain date or astrological event, okay? So if you're, if you're seeing this, it's probably just what you need at this moment. And that being said, there are tons of people out there who have fire as their sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign. Thousands and thousands of folks, obviously it's not going to resonate with everyone, and that's okay. No worries. If it doesn't resonate with you, just pass it on by, and I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, so let's do this reading. The plan is to draw two cards from the traditional Tarot deck. I'm going to use the big, thick, Rider weight full deck here, see? And for clarity, we're going to draw two cards to give us an idea of what you need to acknowledge to grow, move forward, or evolve. So let me shuffle really quickly. And yes, I have reiki the deck prior. So let's draw two cards. Mmm, nice, nice. Okay, the two cards are the Ten of Cups and the Star. So the Ten of Cups means happy family life. And that's probably not a big surprise to you, right? As you can see, this is a picture of a rainbow and happy kids, happy adults. They're dancing, they're celebrating. You know that too. You know that to move forward, to grow, to become more successful, you need the same thing. You need a happy family life. Your home life cannot be dramatic negative or in some kind of uproar. You cannot grow, you cannot become who you're supposed to be in a dramatic, toxic environment. So honestly, look at your life right now and also look at the past. When you have been in a dramatic upheaval at home, how successful have you been? Probably not very. That's why it's so important that you live in a calm, peaceful area. You cannot bloom in a house that is disruptive, negative, dramatic, home life situation. When it's like that, you get out of balance and everything just kind of continues to go downhill. You end up uneasy, unhappy, snappish. Then this turns into unnecessary arguments, missing deadlines, frustration, anger. Yeah, it's bad and it all burst into flames. <laughs> Not quite, but you know what I mean. This is not anything new. I mean, you know this, but whether or not you've addressed it is something else because this is something that takes effort and it's not just you. Your entire home situation, whether that's a flatmate or whether that's a spouse, children, roommates, whatever it could be, all of it has to work together and everyone has to take responsibility. You crave a strong foundation, a place where you can return to after a long day of conquering the world and just be. You've had all the stress, all the trials and tribulations during the day. You don't need drama and arguments when you get home. For your creativity to flourish, you have to have peace. You have to have quiet. You have to have at least calmness. So how do you achieve this? Well, communication is the key. You have to make it a priority to talk this out with your family or flatmates and tell them the drama, the destructive behavior must stop. Once your home life is in balance, you will see a huge difference. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, once it's in order, you can sit back and enjoy life. You have no problem going out there working really hard, moving mountains, doing incredible things, but you can't come home to crazy chaos because it, it will deplete you. Your home has to be a place you rest and gather strength. It's, it's restorative by nature. And when it's not, you can't grow. You can't move forward. 
and then when you get this under control at home, all your hard work will finally start paying off. You won't have to seek praise or admiration from other people. It will come flowing to you. Success will come flowing to you. You're doing the work now and you're moving forward, but it doesn't feel like it because of this unbalanced home life, this dramatic uproar that constantly goes on at home. So it has to stop. It is effectively blocking the energy that should be flowing to you. A happy, peaceful home life is what you need to move forward. You knew that, but you also probably don't want to handle it or address it because it's one more thing. And it's a huge thing. It's really huge to have that talk with your family about, you know, we can't go on like this. Or your roommates, we have to make a change. And you're okay with change. Aries and Sagittarius especially more than Leo. Leo is a fixed sign, so they don't like change. But they, as much as the other two, have to have that stability. All three have to have a stable, restorative home life to be able to create. Okay, on to the next card and it is the star. So this card actually goes right along with the happy home life. <laughs> Big surprise, right? This card is about a serene, peaceful state of mind. Uh-huh. Which you can't have that peaceful state of mind if your home life is in an uproar. But basically, when we're in balance, we have new opportunities flooding to us. We have personal growth. We have positive, beautiful things being drawn to us effortlessly. It's just that simple. As a fire sign, you have immense personal power. You have immense stamina. You have immense creativity. I mean, everything is maxed out with you as a fire sign. But when you're caught in drama or emotional upheaval, you can easily become overwhelmed, lose focus, and that's it. It's done. You can't move forward. You can't get anything to work. You get aggravated then, and like a volcano, you erupt. The thing with the fire signs is they're known for their temper, but unlike some of the other signs, specifically the water signs, they don't stay mad. It's standard with most fire signs to get mad quickly and then to get over it quickly. If you've got constant stress going on, if you've got constant upheaval, and then you have the monkey mind on top of it and you're having catastrophic thinking and you're worrying about work and you're worrying about your home life and you're worrying about the weather and you're worrying and you're worrying and you're worrying, you're not going to move forward. You're not going to grow. When you have have a quiet, peaceful mind, you can manifest anything you want. And it's just that simple. With no questions asked, you can draw it to you because you have the ability to connect with the intent of the universe. But when your mind is busy, upset, or in turmoil, guess what? It's impossible to hear the message from the universe. It's impossible to make that connection. Yeah, it can be a lot. It can be a lot because we're taught to multitask. We're taught to continue to work on things, to build things, to have ideas, and to be continuously busy because being busy equals productive. But we know that's not necessarily true, don't we? So how do you remedy this? By meditation, by Tai Chi, by yoga, by journaling, by spending time outside, by being creative, by doing things that move you outside of your own thinking, get you outside of your head. It's not going to be one thing one time. This is a process. This is part of self-care that you're going to have to adopt and work into your routine. And you know this. You know that when you have so much going on in your mind, it's impossible to calm down and it's impossible to focus on any one thing. You can't rest. Like I say, you get overwhelmed really easy and then you snap and you say something and then you feel guilty. And it's, it's that treadmill of staying in this kind of energy where you can't move forward because you can't really calm down. If you would like some more insights on this, I'm having a special in March and I'll put a slide up here. So if we look closer at these cards, we can see that there is definitely a pattern. You're very strong-willed, you're very capable, and you're capable of great things. But you have to have that calm, restorative home base, which in turn will allow you to have a calm mind to reach your goals. You have to make it a, a personal priority to find peace and harmony both at home and inside your own mind. It's nothing you didn't already know, I'm sure, but seeing it <laughs> as a message maybe will help you understand how important this really is. And then once you tackle these two things, things will change dramatically. You will see huge shifts in your success, huge shifts across the board. I hope you found this reading helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing and liking the videos. Stay tuned for more Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.